Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. So, I built an air filter. And uh, I've, you know, I know a lot of you are looking for this sort of thing. And so I wanted to bring it up how I did it. I'm going to tell you right away, it, it doesn't get it rid of 100%. I would say about 97%. I don't know, maybe 98 what, whatever it is, there's no smoke. I don't see any smoke at all. And the only thing is I could just smell the faintest little bit, right? So I have a regular air filter that I run uh, just to get rid of any kind of leftover odor. But I am extremely happy with this. And the reason why I built it really was for my neighbors. Uh, I have my vent and it goes outside and I couldn't imagine just letting all of that go and then, you know, getting a knock or something from a neighbor saying, hey, you know, you're smoking me out over here. And uh, I could show you a video right here. It, zero. There is no smoke. Very, very little bit of smell coming out there. I have a little charcoal filter right on the end and uh, I'll bring up pictures of the the things that I bought. Um, as far as the filter, I'm going to show you how I built it. Uh, as far as the filter goes, I looked and looked for what I felt was going to be the best filter for this kind of things. And this is what I felt fi found. For, for, uh, <laughs> what I found was the Levoit. LVH-133 air purifier. This has charcoal. It's supposed to be good for smoke. It seems to be working really, really well. It's big enough to where I don't think I'm going to have to replace it that often. At least I used it for about a month and it still seems pretty good. But I did make it to where it is easy enough to take out and in. So let's go over that right now. We'll go over how it is built. So first off, I built a box. Now, hopefully you are smarter than I am when it comes to building things. You know, I need to build everything with a laser. And that's why I'm really excited that we've got this 70 watt laser, maybe even 100 watt diode lasers coming out this year. My issue is that uh, I took everything apart on my laser uh, before I started building the laser enclosure, had I just, I could have made the holes with the laser as I've showed you that I did, uh, you know, for, um, my window, I got through three quarter inch plywood, this three quarter inch with my laser. Um, that was, you make a better hole. Everything is just better. Uh, but I couldn't do that because I had already taken all my hoses off and I had already taken apart the filter that I had made uh, just as I made it out of cardboard first, just to make sure that it would work. I used a, you know, a, 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 a thick cardboard box and I made this whole thing at, using tape uh, just to make sure, Hey, is it going to work? And I, I liked the way that it was uh, working. So I decided, Hey, I'm going to make this thing. And I highly encourage that you do. It's way cheaper if you're able to do it. And I got to say, you know, once this seven, the Atom Stack 70-watt uh, laser, in fact, I did a review before it's coming out, and uh, I'll leave a link for that below. But that would be probably perfect if you got the max with the 70-watt. You could actually make this uh, box in... A matter of you know an hour probably it would, that's what I'm looking forward to so you need a hole in the bottom side and then you're gonna need the hole in the top of course so when I went ahead and I built the four sides first with one hole as you can see here and then of course you put the bottom together pretty simple stuff I just nailed it together uh, I used a nail gun, which was a lot easier, but there are a variety of ways that you could make just a box. You could put some pieces of wood across it, like, like I have shown here. Do it whatever way you need to. 
Uh, you, if you did it with a laser, of course, you could just do it with the joints already made. Oh, this would have been so much easier with a laser. The only difficult part, of course, is, uh, you know, you want to be able to remove that filter anytime that you want to, because you're going to have to. So you, this is something you think ahead. I mean, heck, it would be easy enough if you didn't have to think about how am I going to replace the filter? So I built this little contraption. I'm using this AC Infinity S6. I actually have a couple of these and I really like them. Now, would it be better if you use the more powerful version? I believe this one here, the S6, uh, might be actually faster, but it's of course three times as expensive. Um, so if you can get this one, this is probably the better one to do. But uh, hey, this Raxial uh, S6 seems to work just fine for me. Uh, like I said, I have two of them. They've worked really well. So I took that one, and you can you can see uh, this. The part that you see on the bottom is actually the top. So you're going to have a little bit of the actual fan coming out on the top where you can connect the hose. And then I've got this thin piece here, which is going to go on top of the filter. And what's nice about that, it just sets right on top of the filter. And what I've rigged up is a couple of latches. And then what I did is I put um, some rubber weather seal on top of the box so that when you latch it you see these little this little latch right here when you pull down these latches it seals very tight around the top and as far as the filter goes itself what i did is i put it all together and i saw okay uh how high exactly is that filter going to have to be to where it mats down perfectly with the top so how far you take this thing right here and then the filter, and then a piece of wood, and those should all marry up perfectly. So I glued this piece of wood down. This is a four by four. And then I just put the filter on top of that. And then I just put the whole top assembly that I made uh, on that. So this just sits down on top of that snugly. And then when you cinch it with your, with your latches, like this one, it's just perfect, right? So it, the whole thing fits right on top of the hole for the filter. I know it seems really crazy simple and you could probably devise something even far superior. But for me, this was simple. It was easy. I could replace the filter anytime I want. The filter itself has a little kind of a gasket on top of it. So it really does snug up really nice to the top I made. And uh, here you can see the top of the AC Infinity where the hose goes on. And what I just did, I used some uh, wood glue on a lot of it and then just some sealer just to make sure there's no air cracks. And I am amazed. It seems very simple, uh, but it works. And you can see I, I you know, put some sealer around the cracks around the outside, but uh it just works. And this Lavoie seems to be great. And then for the hole here, um, all you need to do here, we'll go back to that hole, this hole right here. You can either just duct tape it or you can get the little plastic uh, duct uh, attachment and then just put put it on that, you know, so you can go either really crazy or you can just uh, make it really easy. It's up to you. Um, but so the air is coming in through here and then goes into, it just sucks right up through the uh, air filter. So, the, of course, the smoke will be all around the box, but the only place that it can go is through the air, air filter, which is sucking up and out. And then I just have that going to my outside. I'll show you a picture of that. And uh, 
that's pretty much it. And so you can take a look at it actually in use, working great, sucks the air out. Um, then I, at the very end, uh, as you can see in the video I showed you, I've got a little carbon filter right on the end. And uh, it's working great. There is, like I said, there is no smoke coming outside at all. There's no smoke coming inside at all. Uh, I have to stick my nose right up to the end to be able to smell anything. And certainly from a foot or two away, I can't smell anything. My neighbors, there's no way that they're going to smell any smoke coming out. So that's kind of what I was trying to accomplish. Uh, it's, it's, and then I've got the faintest smell of smoke inside. Could it be better with a slightly more powerful fan, possibly, or a different way of making it? Um, is the charcoal filter that I have on the very end lowering my CFMs too much? And I, I can try that. Um, but I got to say, I can just do my production now. I don't have to worry about smoking out my neighbors. And I just feel good about it. And it's pretty simple. But I'm sure many of you could leave a comment and say how this can be approved. But I wanted people to at least see it and say, oh, okay. I mean, because this is what I did. It's not like, uh, you know, I'm teaching everybody else that they need to do it the way I did it. I just wanted to show you this is what I did, and it worked for me. And it was pretty darn cheap. I mean, you could see this fan is like 35 bucks, And then, you know, a piece of weight, probably 100 a little over $100 to build this thing. And uh, it works great. Some of you have, you know, scrap wood laying around it's going to be cheaper than that and you probably did yeah you know i overdid it on the wood a bit uh but it's just what i had sitting around from other th like i built that table so it was just something that i had sitting around that i was like oh okay well i might as well use it for this again it turned out great uh i am pleasantly surprised at what it's worth, I will give you uh, an update over time to see if it continues to perform the way that it has so far and to see how long these filters last. But a, a lot of you are trying to make sure that you don't smoke out your neighbors. And I think this is probably a very, very good solution for that. So I will get on to the next video soon, but I wanted to let you know about that and I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.